we'll start with the introduction and uh, and then we'll just roll into the next stage if that's okay. So the native vegetation that's on the properties right? around here, um, because it's such a low and variable rainfall, um, we don't want to lose it. You know, we want to maintain what's out there. Once we know what's out there, we then want to keep it, and uh, and that means that you've got a um, a productive property as well. We've been running these paddock walks out in, uh, in the Hay region now for quite some time. It's a very informal um, day that we, uh, that we just go out into the paddock or at certain sites and we look at the plants that, um, that are in the area and, uh, and talk about their life cycle, identify the plants and also we look at, um, at places of remnant vegetation as well. Martin Driver, um, I have a local property not far from here really at Barrable. Um, but also we had Martin come along and, uh, and he basically leads the day and, uh, and provides input into what we're looking at, its life cycle. Um, if people are interested in, um, in maintaining it on their properties, what they need to do. Today we're just hoping to have a look at Zara uh, and the Sandhill sites and identify some of the plants that are there, show the diversity of the, of the uh, Sandhills. Zara is a really interesting site simply because it's probably the only site in the Riverina that still has a full range of the plants that are that are that were on the sand hills in the Riverina. As a uh, you see coming in, it's been a wet winter and uh, we're just saying to someone then, I think we're up to at home uh, 460 millimetres. This site had been known about by local people and naturalists for quite a number of years. I'd been involved here from the 1970s when I was first brought out here and shown it. Yeah. So that's the native cherry isn't it? Yeah, yes. this is the native cherry here. Yep. And and then we've got the narrow leaf hop bush and I'm surprised the narrow leaf hop bush. I haven't seen one coming into fruit. It's just coming into flower now. So the jasmine this. Uh, that's the jasmine. Yeah. And and just to confuse things even further, there's a mistletoe that's on the native cherry. So you've got a parasite on a parasite. Wow. There is a, a prostrate ruby salt bush. There is this one which is bushy with red berries. And then there is one which is slightly bluer with orange berries, but they're all classed as the same species. The thorny salt bush, which we've got here, is probably the most, uh, you know, in terms of palatability, young sheep, seem to, even that have never been exposed to it, will go straight to it and eat it. These native spear grasses, this is, I think, Elegantissima coming on, it hasn't set seed yet, but again, you'll only find them in these protected areas.